Hello everyone Jack here, there are a variety of hidden and secret scenes in the amazing digital circus that you have not seen before as I will reveal these deleted scenes from the pilot and trailer sparking eerie questions about the circus's true nature. Watch until the end to witness the enigmatic fragments kept away from the average viewer. Let's dive into the series that took the internet by storm with its first episode, the pilot creating a massive fan base with its insane amount of success. This 3D animation dazzles with with its brilliance and intrigue, leaving behind a haunting aftertaste with underlying context you have not noticed before. The show presents a facade of brightness and charm, but the entire facade is to actually paint a darker and creepier image that is supposed to be hidden so let's explore these deleted scenes that never made it to the final cut. So there is an alternate intro that was made, but it was later changed to the one we have now. It is really interesting to watch so let's look at it. Let's get right into the show! Surprise, don't touch that door, there's so much more You don't know what's in store Watch out for the the original soundtrack is way more fun and catchy to listen to which would attract a younger audience to watch this show. But the earlier version has got this more horror-like feeling to indicate something is hidden beneath the friendliness. The first version is quite interesting and gives off a different view of the show. But instead they did not want to make it too obvious. I guess we will see later on what happens in episode 2. And in the original intro it includes a deliberate glitch. Whereas we never see that in the early version of the intro. Emphasizing the theme of repetition as you can see right here. There are two additional lines that were added in the early version. Don't rush through the door, there is so much more, you don't know what is in store, and we don't get this in the original version as the music cuts off before Pomni falls back onto the characters. This is likely due to it foreshadowing Pomni later on opening the door into the void, and the early version of the intro was actually recorded by Kevin Timmer, whereas the final cut was by Liz Robinett. From this you can tell ghost works were indicating a hidden theme behind all the brightness and joy from the colors and characters, shifting our focus to the visual part of the show, where we have have concept photos and early 3D models revealing a side of the characters that escape the final edit. Gangle, without her joy mask, appears melancholic in a mirror, surrounded by broken masks, hinting at a facade she wears for the other characters. And you can see the amount of times Gangle has broken her mask, indicating that she is upset throughout the whole show and will constantly break it. Jax and Ragatha's concept photos exhibit unexpected and eerie anomalies, sparking curiosity about the circumstances that led to these unsettling images. However, the true horror unfolds in a frame featuring an unsettling version of Pomni, raising questions about the circumstances leading to such a monstrous portrayal. Whether it signifies her initial entrance into the circus or a nightmarish transformation remains a mystery. Intriguingly, we glimpse an early 3D model of Pomni crucified on a cross, a disturbing image that could elicit strong reactions from the viewers. Finally, early concepts of the amazing digital circus offer a glimpse into what could have been an amusement park with a significant lake that underwent considerable changes. The absence of a slide and the inclusion of mysterious house prompt speculation about potential plot twists or the presence of an important NPC that we have yet to know about. But this house could just be a concept that will never make it to later episodes. We have yet to find out. A lot of the leaks are posted on their official Discord server and on Gooseworks Twitter so make sure to follow. What do you think about these concepts and which version do you prefer more? Comment down below. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the captivating world of the amazing digital circus.